It's been one year since the first person in Klamath County tested positive for COVID-19. I sat down with multiple health care workers from Sky Lakes Medical Center to find out what it was like working on the front lines of a global pandemic. March 7th, 2020 is a day Sky Lakes Medical Center health care workers will never forget. I remember just thinking, oh my God, this is, it's starting to hit here. That's when the first person in Klamath County tested positive for COVID-19. You just felt super fearful for the community. And it wasn't until the end of March that the hospital saw its first patient. She actually was in the hospital for, I believe, 35 days and was quite ill during that time. After that, things, for the most part, were quiet at Sky Lakes. We sort of had all this sort of infrastructure behind us built up waiting for the surge, and it didn't happen at that time. They saw a couple of cases a day for the first part of the pandemic, but by November, it went up to five or eight, then 10 or 12, and then in a, uh, a period of a month, it turned up to 60 or 70 positive cases in a day. And that's when the surge hit. Then the fear shifted from the fear of the unknown and the fear of uh, the reality. It was awful. It was, um, it was just incredibly taxing uh, emotionally to see so many people who shouldn't be dying this early dying from the disease. In our sicker patients, we were just always grasping for straws, but these patients were so sick at times that, that we would try just about anything to, to do something to get them better. Toward the end of November, Sky Lakes Medical Center became the first hospital in Southern Oregon to reach its ICU capacity. It was really difficult. I, you definitely did feel a sense of helplessness. They opened up a second unit, but the volume of people they were dealing with was hard to keep up with. We're staffed for a certain volume of patients kind of on any given day, depending upon the time of year. And this really maxed us out. It wasn't until mid-January that Dr. Niskanen says he started to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Our numbers started to drop a little bit, and that's the first time in the vaccinations had started uh, right around Christmas time. And that's when I first thought, you know, maybe this maybe this is going to happen. And as Dr. Montjoy and director of the COVID-19 unit, Christy Wiles, look back on this last year, they remember the moments where they grieved together. I just remember the nurse, the ICU nurse just embracing me and we just cried together. And ultimately supported one another like never before. I think while it may have become a bit of a cliche saying, but we're all in this together is really how we've been able to um, get through it is together. Dr. Niskanen says the fight isn't over yet. We still need to wear our masks and make sure we're social distancing. Live in studio, Blakely McHugh, NBC5 News.